Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. It is a glorious day today. The sky is perfectly clear and it's going to get up to 77 degrees today. And I am just so thankful to be able to be here and be outside and be gardening today because these, these are the days. These are the good days. Plus, so we have beautiful weather, not, not to make you all jealous. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> It smells divine up here. I have my orange blossoms on my orange tree. And then I also have all of the daffodils are blooming and beautiful and they smell so good. So up here in my zigzag planter, I have the Bloom Factory Daffodil Blend from colorblends.com. And I have to admit, I was kind of not impressed at first with this blend. I was kind of like, eh, it's fine, it's okay. I just didn't give it enough time, honestly. Look at how many blooms there are. And I don't know about you all, I know some people don't like the smell of daffodils, I love the smell of daffodils. Well, I just, daffodils are my favorite flower. They're just so wonderful, they're so beautiful. Look at that, it's so gorgeous. So what's what's big about this blend or, or um, I don't know how you say it. The main characteristic about this daffodil blend is that there's so many blooms that you can barely see the foliage. So each bloom or each stalk has like eight blooms on it. See that? See how, see how many there are on each stalk? And so it's just so many flowers per daffodil, per bulb, basically. And it gives you, if you kind of stand back like this, like I'm showing you, it just gives you this look of a sea of daffodils. It's really, really beautiful and it smells so good. So when I'm walking up here and I smell the daffodils and then I smell the orange blossoms from the tree, it's just like, okay, I gotta, I gotta work up here today for sure. So what I'm going to do today is address this. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. So I showed you all this in my April garden tour. This is my star jasmine espalier. I planted it last fall and it's doing well, right? Three of the four plants are doing fabulous. I hope you can, I hope you can see this. It's quite bright. But basically, I have, I got these four star jasmine stakes and I planted them. And a lot of them are doing wonderful. I have all this new growth. It's doing fantastic. It's looking really beautiful. But then I have this one right here. I don't know what's wrong with it. All of a sudden, it just started turning brown and dying. And a lot of you said it was probably Monty, you know, uh, using it as like a little little potty spot, which could be, Jason and I were talking about that, but we never see him going to the bathroom over there. Maybe we're just missing it or something like that. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Some plants, um, some plants just don't make it. I was looking a little bit closer at this one and I don't know if you can tell, but it's like all twisted really bad. It's all twisted. And then I keep scraping it. And so it's still technically alive. You see that? It's still technically alive, but it's just bugging me and it's messing up photos. And it's <laughs> and so I just, I think I'm just going to take it out, honestly. And I'm just going to start over. I got another star jasmine over here and this one's looking healthy. This one has a lot of new growth on it. And we're almost to the time when star jasmine's going to start blooming and looking beautiful. And I don't want that random brown one in the middle of my beautiful espalier. So I'm going to take it out. So that's the first thing I want to do today. And then after that, I'm going to deadhead all the daffodils that I have up there. I'm going to leave them in because I want them to come back next year. But I'm going to kind of work around them and plant these plants in there. So I'm actually really excited about this. So Isley Nursery, they're so wonderful. I can't, I want to go visit them so badly. They're in, um, oh my gosh, what's the name of that town? I think it's called Boring, Oregon. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Anyway, it's up there. They're up in Oregon. And, um, and they apparently I watched the Jim Putnam video when he went and visited them. And it, it like, it just looks like a, an amazing place to go see. Uh, so they offered to send me some black Mondo grass and I said, yes, please. So they sent me a whole bunch of this beautiful black Mondo grass and I've put it in some containers thus far. My plan was to put it underneath like my olive tree to like mimic 
the black olives falling down and then kind of blending in with the olives as they fall down. And I still want to do that. But when I was thinking about what I was going to underplant the jasmine espalier with, I decided I wanted to plant this bush morning glory, this beautiful white bush morning glory with its silver foliage. And then have the black right next to it. Isn't that going to be amazing? So it's going to be like this black and white little garden. I, j I As soon as I thought of that, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, yes. So that's what I'm going to underplant the star jasmine with today. So I just think it'll look so cool. So basically I'll have this diamond patio right here, and then this will be kind of like a black and white garden with the white flowers of the bush morning glory, and then the black strap foliage of the black mondo grass won't that be just the coolest thing so anyway i think i'll start with the espalier carefully taking that out um, and then i will start planting all right let's go Okay, so this is interesting. I thought that there was some new growth coming from that that star jasmine right there, but it turns out it was this plant coming up and around, and that's that's what the new growth was. It was actually from this plant, and I didn't even realize that. So that that one was like dead. It was done. It was absolutely done. I didn't see anything wrong with it down here in the hole. It, it hadn't rooted out at all, like at all. I just, you see how clean my hole is. I just kind of pulled it out. Um, so yeah, I'm not totally sure. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. You know, I'll plant my new one right there. And then if it happens again, then I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see. Okay. Let's keep going. at right now I took the old star jasmine out I replaced it with the new one and I started training the new one up either side and that looks so much better I feel so much better just to have done that and then I started laying out the black mondo grass and the white morning glory the bush morning glory and these bush morning glory are gonna get really big they don't look like anything right now but they're gonna get two to four feet wide and two feet tall so they're gonna spread out pretty significantly like almost I I'm imagining they're going to spread out the same amount that like a supertunia vista bubblegum will we'll see we'll see how they do um so I've got one there one there one there I am going to be moving that pufferfish hydrangea into the shade garden uh one there one there and one there and then I am dotting the black mondo grass all around so I'm imagining it's going to be kind of like the white and then little spurts of the black mondo grass coming up in between it's it's a trial I'll see how it goes um I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be beautiful watching Monty on nice days is so funny because we got Monty as a puppy when uh i think it was like right around thanksgiving right the end of november so it was already cold so we haven't seen him in warm weather and the poor pup has not been through warm weather so it's not even like warm right now like compared to what we normally get and you can find him he's like in the shade if i if i don't know where he is i just have to kind of look 
around and look for a shady area. And then I find him. Like he was hanging out underneath the orange tree. I don't know where he went now. I'll have to go find him, make sure he's not doing anything naughty. But anyway, it's really cute. I think I'm gonna have to get him like a like a kiddie pool or something like that. So he can jump in the pool and cool off on the really hot days. and I am all done and I am in love with it. I think I wanna grab a couple more of the Bush Morning Glories um, just to kind of add a little bit more white in cause I kinda of want it to be mainly Bush Morning Glories and then just the black Mondo grass popping through and then the espalier in the background. But I'm really, really happy with this concept and I think it looks good. So I'm having a lot of trouble. It's so bright out here. I'm having a lot of trouble seeing my screen. Um, so I apologize if it's, if you can't see everything correctly. I'm hoping when I check it in editing, it looks okay, but let me turn the camera around. So I didn't go any any further past the hose link. I'm going to do something else. I think I'm going to do something on all four corners of the circle right there, like maybe a grass or something like that. Um, so I just left that blank, but on the other side, on the left side of it, you can see I have six of the bush morning glories right there. And then interspersed is the black mondo grass. And the black mondo grass isn't going to get huge. Um, it only gets about 12 inches tall. But like I said, I just want that to be a little bit of an accent. I want it mostly to be the white and the silvery foliage but I just think it's going to be so great imagine it without the daffodil leaves because those I'm going to be able to take down in probably about six weeks so it's just going to be the silvery foliage of the bush morning glory and then the black mondo grass poking through and then the espalier behind it I think it's going to look really um like I was trying to think of the word to describe it but like regal came to mind I guess is what I'm trying to say I, I don't know like that's that's the way I was thinking about it so hopefully that makes sense to some of you so I'm happy with this I think it looks good and the main thing is that one got replaced which it definitely definitely needed it I still don't know what happened if that one dies then we'll know it's the spot but it could have just been the plant Okay, I just came around the corner to the shade garden to get a little bit of shade, which is exactly what this shade garden is meant for. I can't wait until the clematis grows all the way up and it's really just this, this enclosed room. I'm just, I'm gonna spend so much time here, I know it. Uh, so anyway, got all that stuff done. Uh, productive day. I think now, well, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, have lunch, um, but then I got to get on my irrigation. That is just, I just have to do a little bit every day, like hook up like 10 plants every single day. And then maybe by the end of summer, I'll be done. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.